Welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I'm excited to announce that my Patreon is finally live and now you can enjoy exclusive content before it's released on YouTube for just $2 a month. You can find the link in the description or comments. As always, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. The New Guardian, Part 4 Nothing foreshadowed trouble for the members of Fairy Tale, and as they say, all good things, and in this situation carefree behavior, come to an end. An hour later, after the arrival of Naruto, Lucy, Natsu, Grey and Happy, the door to the guild opened and a girl walked in. It was Elsa, and on her shoulder was a large horn of an unknown animal. Hello Elsa? What kind of horn is this? Mira asked, leaving her boyfriend sitting at the bar. Oh, this is the gratitude of the inhabitants of the village in which I carried out the task, and the horn itself is from the monster I killed, which was attacking the village," Elsa answered, putting her burden on the floor and turning to face the rest of the guild members. Look, the show is about to start, Naruto said to Lucy. Which one? The girl didn't understand. You'll see, Naruto answered briefly, intriguing the girl. And at the same time, Elsa, taking a deep breath into her lungs, screamed. What the hell are you doing? Elsa screamed, and everyone in the guild, except Naruto, Mira and Lucy, hung their heads and almost shuffled their feet on the floor. Why were they discussing our guild and laughing at it in the tavern where I stopped for lunch? Elsa asked, glaring angrily at everyone, and Naruto was trying to restrain himself not to laugh, because if he laughed, then all the comedy of this performance would disappear. And some even dared to say nasty things about us, but I dealt with them, but the very fact that they laugh at us infuriates me. And all because of what? Elia asked, but everyone shook their heads. Do not know? Then I'll tell you, it's all because you're behaving inappropriately. Kana constantly leaves on missions, and Wakaba smokes, Elsa gave examples. Well, okay, Mira, and the master is in the guild? Elsa asked, turning to the white-haired girl. No, he went to a meeting of masters in Clover, said Mira. Okay, are Natsu and Grey here? Elia asked again. Yeah, they're over there. Mira pointed in the direction where Natsu and Grey were. Hi Elsa, as you can see, we get along great, really, Natsu? Grey asked. Yeah, Natsu answered, imitating the blue cat. It's great when friends get along well, Elsa said and turned away, and behind her, Natsu and Grey immediately bumped their foreheads. Natsu, Grey. I will need you in one matter that I most likely will not be able to handle," Elsa said, and Naruto was still sitting at the bar, quietly for a long time so that Elsa would not notice him, because he wanted to joke with her. Giggled like that, you see, I told you it would be funny, Naruto said. Yeah, it really was comical, the girl answered. So this is the case in which I ask you for help Natsu, Grey. This is that the Dark Guild, Icy Forest, has been bustling around and there are rumors that they have acquired a terrible spell, and one wizard has confirmed this. He said that they were going to try it out in the city, Sharp Oak, Elsa said. Okay, we will help you. Grey and Natsu answered, again pretending to be best friends, but not rivals. That's good, then in half an hour at the station, said Elsa. Hum, it sounds very interesting, but can I come with you too? Naruto asked approaching Elsa from behind, smiling from ear to ear. I told you who's coming. Elsa began, but came across blue eyes. Naruto, Elsa squeaked, and the guy decided to repeat the question. Well, can I? Naruto asked, smiling good-naturedly. Yeah. Elsa also began to imitate Happy. Well, that's good, but a new girl will also come with us, otherwise Natsu and Grey are already afraid of you, and this way they will be able to talk with the girl especially since the more, the merrier," Naruto said. Yeah, she continued to portray happy Elia. Well, that's nice, then I'll come to the station in half an hour. Bye Marachka," Naruto said as he left. Bye, Mira shouted to Naruto. At this time, Lucy was sitting at the bar and talking with Mira. Mira, tell me why Elsa scolded everyone in the guild, but in front of Naruto, she behaved like Natsu in front of her, the girl asked. One day, Elsa and I got very upset when we were fighting, and we threw cake and juice on Naruto. He then became so angry and, in general, from that time on, Elsa now always behaves like this with him," answered Mira. 
Suddenly Natsu ran up to them. Lucy, will you go on a mission with us? Asked Natsu. Will they take me? After all, as far as I remember, they only took you and Gray, and Naruto asked for it himself so that I'm not standing here in any way, said Lucy. Yes, but Naruto told Elsa that you would go too, Natsu said. And if I do not want? The girl asked. You, have you gone completely crazy? Contradict Naruto and Elsa themselves. The cat looked at the girl as if she were sick. Lucy, imagining what they could do to her, the girl's imagination was running wild, changed her mind. Natsu, what are we waiting for? Let's go to the station. The girl shouted and dragged the guy and the cat aside exit. This will be interesting, we need to write to the master that Natsu, Elsa, Grey and Naruto have united into a team, because this team will be stronger than the Thunderbolts. Mira said to herself, and the rest of the guild agreed with her. In half an hour at the station. Hello everyone, again, Naruto said as he approached. Yeah, Lucy answered, looking at how Natsu and Grey called each other names. They're at it again. Naruto said, making a hand face gesture. But Natsu and Grey were not destined to quarrel for a long time because Elsa came. Well, are you ready? Elia asked everyone except Naruto. That's right, answered the flying cat. Elsa, I have only one condition for me to go on this mission. Natsu stated. Which? Elsa asked. When we return to the guild, you will fight me, because if I can't defeat you, then I won't be able to defeat Naruto. Natsu stated. Natsu, are you on your own again? Then if you can't travel without my spell, normally on the train the whole way, then I won't mess with you for a month. Naruto said, cooling the pink-haired ardor. Why so cruel? Asked Natsu. Just bother others less with this request. Naruto answered. Okay. Natsu, I'll fulfill your request. Elsa said, interjecting herself into the educational process. Cool. Natsu shouted. Yes, it will be so, but you will still go without a spell. Naruto said as he entered the train. On the train, Elsa knocked out Natsu, who was suffering, and put his head in her lap. I remembered what a lullaby is, said Lucy. Well, what is this? asked Naruto. For ordinary people, this is a bedtime song for a child, but as far as I remember, Elsa mentioned a spell. And, if my arguments are correct, then the Dark Guild got to the flute of Zeref, the greatest black magician of the past, or rather the flute he made said the girl. Well, why is this flute dangerous? Elsa asked a question. She is dangerous because her music can kill, answered Lucy. Then, in the hands of the Dark Ones, it becomes a formidable weapon, Naruto said. Yes. By the way, what kind of magic do Grey, Elsa and you Naruto have, otherwise I can't understand how you knocked down those gates in the Everly Mansion? Asked the golden-haired one. Elsa has very beautiful magic. Grey said. But you have Grey, she is much more beautiful. I own rearmament, said Elsa. Grey, show me what kind of magic you have, asked Lucy. Grey placed his fist, vertically, on his open palm and began to cast a spell. A slight coolness wafted from the side. When Grey removed his hand, which was clenched into a fist, an ice figurine with the image of the guild sign remained on his palm. Beautiful, said Lucy. Naruto, show me your magic, Grey asked, and Elsa and Lucy stared at him. I have the magic of a royal dragon slayer, Naruto said, trying to get rid of such a question. Naruto, it's good to fill in, if you only had dragon slayer magic, you would use it often, Grey said. A, hey, okay, we persuaded you, Naruto said and began to perform some manipulations, and the rest, except for Natsu, who was unconscious, stared at the grey-haired man. A second later Naruto began to be surrounded by spheres that were of different colors. There were six spheres in total. So what does it mean? Asked the Ice Mage. These are the types of magic that I have developed, but this is only for now. The first sphere is fire. The second is light. Third, lightning. The fourth is gravity. The fifth is space and the sixth is writing. Naruto said, but then he slapped his forehead and another sphere flew out, which constantly changed color. And I also forgot, the seventh sphere is the magic of the royal dragon slayer. Said Naruto, keeping silent about the magic of God. Cool, but only high magicians can use many types of magic, asked Lucy. Yes, 
That's true, but I'm an exception, Naruto answered briefly. Suddenly the train stopped. The conductor entered the carriage and said. Sorry, gentlemen, but we have a slight problem, so we have an unscheduled stop, the conductor announced. We don't have time, Elsa told her friends, leaving carriage. She's right, Naruto said, also leaving the carriage. After getting off the train, Elsa asked Naruto. Well, how are we going to get there? The girl asked. I think I can get everyone through, Naruto answered thoughtfully. That's nice, said Elsa. When the others came out, Naruto said. Now, with the help of my magic, we will fly. The guy said and was about to start casting magic, but he noticed. Where is Natsu? Naruto asked and suddenly everyone saw an explosion in the carriage and the train started moving. At this time, while Naruto and the guys were gathering around carriage. Oh. What luck, I'll swat you and there will be one less light magician in this world, someone said and hit Natsu with magic. The magic that struck seemed familiar to Natsu and he remembered that it was the same force that pulled the failed robbers underground. Who gets it here is you, Natsu said pathetically. Yes, shadow needles, said the enemy, and a shadow crawled towards the pink-haired one, slowly becoming material. Yes, wings of the fire dragon, Natsu hit with his spell and thought that the enemy was defeated, but the roof of the carriage they were in flew off and the enemy escaped, and the train, as if in wickedness, started moving at the very moment when Natsu decided to jump out. Having gathered all his strength, Natsu was still able to jump out of the car and immediately hovered in the air. Thank you. Natsu said as Naruto flew up. You're welcome, Naruto answered and led him to the others. Well, is everything assembled now? Naruto asked and seeing four nods, he said. Then let's go. The guy said and everyone took off. Twenty minutes later they were near the station of the city, Sharp Oak. Arriving, they saw that the station was surrounded by soldiers. Having gone to the main one, the guys asked to be let inside, to which the commander refused and was slammed into the wall. Apparently these are the soldiers who tried to take the magicians by storm, Naruto said, looking at the soldiers who were lying on the stairs leading to the second floor of the station. What are several detachments of soldiers against the guild of magicians, said Elsa. Coming out into the waiting room, the guys saw many magicians from the Dark Guild. The midges themselves came to us, one began, but was interrupted by the voice of a man who had a rather disgusting flute in his hands. We were visited by the magicians of Fairy Tale, including the Fairy Queen Titania herself and a much more formidable magician, at this phrase, Elgor, and that was his name, swallowed and looked at Naruto, who smiled a good-natured smile, but it made him shiver, smiling demon. Elgor finished. Guys, we got some very big shots, let's knock them down, someone shouted. You won't be able to cope if he is here, but we must do what we have planned, Elgor said to himself. Guys, hold them back until I finish this business, Elgor shouted and ran away, along with two more people, and all his honest lads rushed at the wizards. Natsu, Lucy, Grey, Happy, follow them, and we'll have fun here, Naruto said and hit the wizard who ran up close. Okay. That's all they answered. As soon as the company sent after Elgor left, Naruto smiled and said. Well, my dears, shall we play? Naruto asked as he disappeared. They are too self-confident, let's put them in their place, someone shouted from the chilling forest. Yes, they heard from everywhere, but they didn't rejoice for long before Naruto appeared in front of them. Elsa, leave me more, please, Naruto shouted. A beautiful black one appeared in his hand sword. Naruto, do you know how to wield a sword? Asked Elsa, surprised. Yeah, if you want, look, the guy said and his sword became covered with silver energy. Okay, Elsa said, settling down on the balcony, as she knew that these magicians would not cause problems for Naruto. Fallen angel style. Black feathers. Naruto said and began to move very beautifully and smoothly but at the same time dealing great damage. It seemed like he was everywhere. The guy hit so as not to kill his opponents, but to take them out of the battle. Beautiful, will you teach me? Elsa said, with puppy delight on her face. Okay, but remember, I love Mira and you can't make me fall in love with you, Naruto said, but suddenly they felt that the station was surrounded by a magical whirlwind. And I didn't intend to, Elsa answered, as did Naruto, heading towards the exit.
what they saw spoiled their mood a little. Damn, this whirlwind will be quite difficult to overcome, Naruto said. But what is it for, even the whole guild cannot defeat us, but here is a fence? Elsa asked. This is so that we do not leave this station. Looks like it was originally a trap, Naruto said. That's right, you're right smiling demon. This whirlwind is not to let you out of here. Elgore's voice was heard from the other side. And why do you need this? Naruto asked. I want to kill all the guild masters who are now in Clover, which is not far from here. Elgore laid out all his plans. And at this time at the meeting. Makarov, your kids are very rowdy. They always destroy something. Said the master of the three-headed Cerberus, Zalatojil. Yes, someday this could result in the destruction of the city. Joked the master of the blue Pegasus, Bob. Yes, no, what are you saying, they don't have enough strength alone. Makarov joked, but suddenly a letter arrived. Having unfolded it, the master saw a hologram of Mira appearing in front of him. Hello master, I wanted to tell you that a new team has appeared in our guild, namely Natsu, Grey, Elsa, Naruto and Happy and Lucy have teamed up. Mira said. The master grabbed his head. Hey. It seems that the threat has now become real, because there are two S-class mages on this team. Moreover, Naruto is most likely already at the level of God's Chosen One, said Zalatojil. Let's go back to our guys. Listen Elsa, if they were able to remove the seal from the flute, and it most likely was, then they must have a dispelling magician, and he should have been looking for it. If this is who I think he is, then he is in this room. Naruto said and concentrated for a moment. Found. Naruto said and ran in the right direction. As it turned out later, it was the guy who controlled the shadows. And Natsu fought with him, but when Naruto asked him to remove the whirlwind, the guy was pierced by someone's hand. So this is how you treat your comrades, Natsu got angry and beat the one who did it. Well, what should we do? Grey asked. We will get through, Natsu shouted and jumped onto the whirlwind. Calm down Natsu, this won't help matters. If we don't figure out a good way to get out now, I'll use a powerful spell and destroy the vortex, but also the entire building," Naruto said. Not a bright prospect, said Elsa. Lucy, Lucy. A blue one started spinning around the girl cat. What do you want, Happy? The girl asked. I forgot that the virgin asked me to give you her key, said Happy. And how will this help in this situation, huh? Lucy asked, while rubbing the cat's cheeks. Well, I thought she would help us get out of here, because she knows how to dig tunnels, said the offended cat. Oh, sorry, Happy, I'll give you some fish later, just give me the key. The girl began to ask the cat. If so, then call her, Lucy, Naruto said. Okay, I am the one who opens the way to the world of spirits, answer my call and go through the gate, Virgo. Lucy shouted and a girl with pink hair and a maid costume appeared in front of her. Who are you? Lucy didn't understand. I am Virgo, answered the spirit. Hum. Last time you were more impressive, the blonde said. I work in a form in which it is better for the owner, but if you want, I will become like that. Said the Virgo, enlarged and, noticing Naruto, she immediately turned back, so that Lucy did not have time to say a word. Why did you return to such a state so quickly, because I didn't have time to be indignant? Asked Lucy. All because the master is with you, and he wanted me to be in this form. Virgo answered. Who is your master? Asked the four magicians standing behind. He, Virgo pointed to Naruto, who was busy talking with Natsu. Why do you call Naruto master? I understand that he is a strong magician, but so that he has influence on the star spirit, can you tell me? Asked Lucy. I can't, even if you were my mistress now, I promised the master, and his request is more important. Virgo answered. Well, Naruto turns out to be a mysterious person, Lucy said to herself. So why did you call me? The spirit asked, but Naruto answered instead of Lucy. Virgo, we need to go under this whirlwind, can you organize it? Asked Naruto. Of course, sir, the spirit answered, and the guy was warped by this phrase. I asked you not to call me that, Naruto said. I have no right. Virgo answered. When the wizards got out of the vortex, and with them they also took Kagayama, that was the name of the guy who controlled the shadows, because if he died, it would be on their conscience. 
By the time everyone got out, Naruto didn't find Natsu. Don't lose to Natsu. Naruto said, and more loudly, said. Let's find a monocar and continue our journey on it, suggested Naruto. A monocat is a machine that runs on magical energy. Everyone received this with a bang. When it was found, Naruto said. Elsa, you will go driving, since you have spent practically no money. Naruto said as he sat down in the cockpit. Okay. Elsa answered and got behind the wheel. Naruto. Why did the maiden call you master? Lucy asked, staring at the gray-haired man, and Gray, who was also interested, looked at Naruto with a questioning look. But this is a question without comment, Naruto said, smiling in a way that made Gray and Lucy shiver. Why did you save me? Asked Kagayama, who woke up. Why do you need to die, try to live longer, Naruto said and fell silent. When the wizards arrived at the place where Natsu fought with Elgor, they saw the beaten Dark Reaper, and Natsu himself proudly flaunted without his vest. I can't believe that Elgor lost, Kagayama said to himself, noticing that the flute was not far away. He stole the monocar, taking lullaby with him. Wait, he stole our monocar, Gray said. We shouldn't have saved him, said Lucy. Come on, since he stole the monocar, that means we'll fly, Naruto said. Kagayama stood on the hill near the meeting building and thought. It will be very clear to hear from here, Cage thought. Oh, what a lot of sorceresses these days, the guy heard behind him. Turning around, he saw Master Makarov, who was sitting on a stump and reading a magazine. Noticing the young man, the master quickly hid the magazine and said. This is purely scientific interest, Makarov began to justify himself, but noticing the bandages he said. Why? You're sick, said the master, shaking his head. In the hospital they don't allow me to play the flute, but I have a creative soul. Maybe you'll listen? Kagayama began to hang noodles on the master's ears. She's kind of scary, said the master. Yes, but the sound is wonderful, said the guy. Well, what will I listen to then, but only one composition, said Makarov. Thank you, Kagayama said, and was about to blow, but didn't dare. And at this time, not far from the hill, Master, Natsu shouted and wanted to rush to the Master, but was stopped by the goldsmith who came out, and after him Bob appeared. No, look, now the fun begins, said Zalatojil. Let's return to Kagayama. If I blow, then everything will be solved, thought the guy. Nothing will be decided. The weak will remain weak, the strong will remain strong. Man is initially weak, but what prevents him from acquiring this strength? The master asked, and Kagayama let go of the flute and began to cry. Master. Naruto and company ran towards Makarov. You did well, you managed without using force, said Elsa. Suddenly, an evil force came from the direction of the flute, which was lying on the ground. Pitiful little people, they're not even able to kill, you'll have to do everything yourself. A voice was heard and a magic circle appeared above the flute and later a demon appeared. Not far from where the demon appeared, the army galloped. Let's show that soldiers are better than wizards, let's destroy the demon, the commander shouted. The lullaby just spoke. Weaklings, the demon shouted and fired at the mountain, which immediately disappeared. Captain, the mountain has disappeared, said the soldier. We're retreating, the commander shouted. And now, I will eat your souls, wizards, lullaby shouted. Naruto, deal with her, the master said but the guy objected. Master, I myself, said Naruto, and he turned to the fox. Karama, do you want to warm up? Asked Naruto. I am for it, answered the fox. Then go out and give this upstart a hard time, Naruto said moving forward from everyone. Okay, was his answer, and a golden fox with silver veins and black stripes appeared in front of the guy. Who is this? Asked Lucy and the other masters. This is Naruto's keeper, the master answered briefly. And Karama, as soon as he appeared, approached Lullaby, who became a little afraid, because in front of her was a creature that was very much superior to her. Who are you? Lullaby asked for the sake of decency. Hum, I am your death. The fox answered, baring his teeth and rushing at the demon Zeref. At first, Lullaby tried to resist, but every touch she touched the fox caused her to start burning. Karama was enjoying his game. It's not often that you meet such a timid demon, 
but it was all over anyway, in 5 minutes. A. I played nicely. Thanks Naruto, Kurama said, shrinking and sticking out his fist. You're welcome, friend. Naruto replied, his fist touching Kurama's. Approaching his friends and the master, he asked. Master. Is the meeting over already? Asked Naruto. Yes, now you can go home, said Makarov, and wanted to head towards the railway, but was stopped, like other members of the guild, Naruto. Master. I can move us directly to the guild, since I have a transfer formula there. The guy said, approaching everyone and putting similar seals so that they could move with him. As soon as he cast the spell, everyone disappeared in a flash of light. We're home. Naruto said, walking through the doors of the guild, where Mira met him and immediately threw herself on his neck, while she managed to greet the master and the others. Equals 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 chapter 12 equals 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 the next day near the guild. Elsa and Natsu stood opposite each other, and Naruto stood next to them. Start, Naruto gave the command and the opponents began prepare spells. Elsa. This time I will definitely beat you, and then I will surpass Naruto too. Natsu shouted and rushed towards his opponent. Don't say hello, Natsu. Elsa answered and also rushed at Natsu. In two minutes it was all over. Natsu, as expected, lost again, but this time he was able to hurt Elsa. Soon, very soon, you will surpass me, Natsu, Elsa said to the guy who was passed out. Elsa Elia won, Naruto announced and went to the stand with tasks. Marachka, please mark me for this task, the guy asked. Okay. By my love, Mira said and kissed Naruto goodbye. A week later. It was a hot day outside. It's so good, the girl said, coming out of the shower. Only Lucy had time to change clothes when the window to her room opened, and Heppy and Natsu burst into it. What the hell, you're breaking into my apartment, and in this way too, the girl got angry. Oh, hello Lucy, Natsu waved her hand. Yeah, hi Lucy, don't you have any fish? The cat asked and flew towards the kitchen. Yes, are you completely crazy? Either you say what you came for, or you get out of here. Set a condition young woman. Okay, we wanted to invite you to join us on a mission. Natsu answered and smiled. Which one? And why can't you go tomorrow, because it's so hot today? Asked Lucy. No, tomorrow they wouldn't let us go on this mission, because we stole a task of the highest complexity. Kepi answered for his friend. Well, why are you calling me then? The girl asked. Here you go, Natsu said and gave Lucy a leaflet. When the girl reached the reward section she said. I'm going with you, because for this task they give you the key of the zodiac, in addition to money. It looks like it will be fun, in Lucy's eyes, the devils performed lesginka when she spoke. Otherwise, Natsu shouted and opened the window, jumping out him. Lucy, we'll wait for you outside said the blue cat and went after his friend. Okay, I'll be there soon. The girl answered and, in a hurry, began to get ready. And at this time on the street. Heppy, it's a great idea, otherwise it would only be the two of us, and at least the three of us will scold us, Natsu said and grinned. Yeah, cool idea, Natsu, the cat confirmed. Well, let's go, said Lucy. In an hour at the guild, Mira approached the master and said, Master. A task of the highest complexity has disappeared from the second floor. Notify the master of the world. Well, what fool took it? The master asked and suddenly a voice was heard from the second floor. Old man. I saw a cat running away with a piece of paper. Lexus said, smiling sarcastically. Is it really Natsu and Heppy, and judging by the fact that Lucy is not there yet, then she is with them, said Mira. Lexus. Why didn't you stop him? The girl asked, looking menacingly at the guy. I haven't seen such an expression on your face for a long time. I just thought it was an ordinary cat, but I never imagined that it could be happy. Lexus said and smiled sarcastically again. Then, go and drag them back, Lexus, said the master. Well, no, there isn't a magician in our guild who can't stand up for himself. Lexus began to mock. Master, I'll return them, Gray said, getting up from the table. Okay, Makarov answered, Port City of Hargent. We need to find a ship, said Lucy. You were joking, right? I thought that we would get there by swimming, because you know that I don't tolerate transport well. 
Natsu began to be indignant. Then we're definitely finished, the girl answered. After that, they began to look for a ship going to Galuna Island, but none of the sailors wanted to even get close to the island. And after another failure, Natsu and Lucy wanted to go to another boat, but heard a voice behind them, Well, so I found you, Grace said, standing behind Natsu and Lucy. Why do you need us? asked Natsu a question. You stole a high-ranking task and the master is furious, and I came to return you back to the guild, Grace said, starting to cast magic. So you can do it, little ice cream, answered the pink-haired one, with a flame burning in his hand. So you were wizards? asked the owner of the boat. Yes, they answered. So you came to remove the curse from the island? The man asked and, seeing the nods, said. Then, I'll take you to this island, the man said, and Lucy was happy with these words, as was Natsu. Natsu, you're not going anywhere. Gray said clearly, but the pink-haired one knocked him out with a kick to the head and picked it up on his shoulder. Great old man, we're ready. Natsu said. Natsu, why are you taking him with you? Asked Lucy. If he returns to the guild without us, then the master will send someone stronger and then we'll definitely be finished. Peppy answered for his friend. They swam for a long time and pink-haired, as usual, squashed, and Gray, who was tied up, was indignant at the fact that now he was dragged into all this turmoil. But they were unable to sail calmly for long. The old man disappeared, and the boat was covered by a huge wave. The magicians woke up on the shore of the island. Gray approached Natsu and Lucy and was about to say a phrase when Natsu beat him to it. Gray. Now the boat is in smithereens and you won't be able to bring us back, Natsu said. No, I wanted to say something else. If you suddenly find yourself on the second floor after completing this mission, then I will become envious, and if you are expelled, then it will be boring. So I'm with you, Gray said. When the guys reached the village, they were not believed at first because, the notification did not arrive, but when the guys presented their coats of arms they were greeted cordially. The elder told the magicians that the curse fell on the island when the moon suddenly turned purple. Deciding to leave all the problems for another day, and it was already evening outside, the guys went to bed. The next day, the magicians decided to find out more about the origin of the curse, because a curse can arise for any other reason. They decided to explore the island, but when the guys walked through the forest, they were attacked by a huge mouse. What kind of Pokemon is this? Natsu asked as the guys ran away from her after the gas attack. Parquet made of ice, Gray cast a spell, the ground became covered with ice and the mouse slipped and fell. Guys, look, there's some kind of building, let's go there while we can, Lucy said, turning to the guys, and they kicked the mouse and screamed. You can still piss, Natsu and Gray shouted. Guys, you're freaks, was all the girl said. Upon closer inspection, the structure turned out to be a pyramid, but a very old one. The guys went inside, and after Natsu decided to test the floor for strength, they failed. The magicians fell into some cave, and when they walked to the center, they saw a block of ice and a demon walled up in it. This is Deliora, Gray said in shock, and then said that this demon was sealed by his teacher. The guys decided to wait, because the one who pinned this block in this was bound to come. Place and at this time in Hargent, Naruto walked along the streets of the city, happy with his life, because he had found and bought a gift for his girlfriend and was already looking forward to giving it to her. The guy decided to call Mira using a magic receiver. Having introduced the right person and released some energy into the device, Naruto began to wait for an answer. Hello, was heard from the receiver and the figure of Mirazana appeared. Hello Marachka. I'm already in Hargent and will soon be at the guild, and I also have a gift for you," Naruto said. Is it true? Mira asked, but suddenly the master's voice was heard from the receiver and he himself appeared above the telephone. Hello Naruto, I'm sorry, of course, but I have a favor to ask," said the master. Which, Naruto immediately became serious, asking, because requests from the master are extremely rare, and then only on serious issues. Natsu. Lucy and Heppy were stolen and went on a mission of the highest rank, to Galuna Island, and also took Grey with them. I ask you to return them so that I can punish them, said the master. I understand, it will be done master, 
But mark me for this task then. Naruto said. Fine. Said the master and handed the receiver to Mira. Sorry Marachka. But it seems our meeting is a little postponed. But I think the second part of the gift is you you will receive it on time. Said the guy. It looks like. Please return these bewitchers. The girl asked. Okay. For now, my love. Naruto said goodbye. Bye. The girl sighed and hung up. Naruto headed to the docks and began asking if he could be taken to the island. No, I won't swim there. This island is cursed. All the sailors screamed as one. After the guy wandered around like this for two hours, he came to a disappointing conclusion. You'll have to get there yourself, Naruto said with a sigh. Well, hold on, my dears, Naruto shouted and flew towards the island. Let's return to Natsu and company. After sitting in ambush, Natsu managed to fall asleep, and Lucy summoned the star spirit, Lyra. And for a long time, Grey, Lucy and Happy enjoyed her music and singing. But suddenly voices were heard from the direction of the passage. Natsu, wake up, Lucy quietly woke up her friend. Four people entered the hall, and the main one among them was in helmet. Deliora has not yet been resurrected, said one of the accompanying people. Yes. But we have already accumulated enough energy, so tomorrow, I think the shackles will fall off. Said the only girl. After that, the entire company hurried away, and the fairy tale mages followed them. These people led them to the roof. I think that it will be necessary to destroy the village, otherwise I heard that they hired magicians. Said the leader, and Grey was dumbfounded, recognizing this voice. It will be done, Mr. Nelperator. The trio answered but did not have time to leave because Natsu couldn't stand it and jumped out in front of them. I won't allow you to do something to the villagers, Natsu shouted, and the rest of the magicians followed him. Grey? A voice was heard from Nelperator. So it's still you Leon, Grey said. And you haven't changed, student number two, said Leon, taking off his helmet. So it was you who dragged Deliora here. Why? Grey asked, and Natsu was furious that they weren't listening to him. Suddenly Leon raised his hand towards the pink-haired one. Ice began to freeze on Natsu until he looked like a bun. What have you done? I'll free myself now and give it to you. Natsu began to shout, but suddenly Grey pushed him and the pink-haired boy rolled head over heels from the pyramid. Do you still treat your comrades the same way? Ah, I understand, you moved it away from me, because if the caster is far away, then the spell is easier to break. Leon exclaimed. Lucy, go with Heppy and warn the residents, otherwise Leon's henchmen have already left. Gray said, noticing the absence of his friends, student number one. Okay, but can you handle it yourself? Asked Lucy. Of course, leave already. Gray answered. Let's fly Lucy, Heppy said, picking up the girl. Arriving in the village, Lucy told the residents that they wanted to destroy them. Calling upon the virgin, the girl ordered her to make a hole in front of the gate. Everyone except Lucy herself thought it was a very stupid trap. When they were deciding how to defend the village, a voice was heard from the direction of the trap. Everyone immediately ran in that direction. Well, who dug this hole here? Natsu the bun was indignant, who fell for this stupid creation. But suddenly the ice on Natsu cracked and dissolved. I'm normal again. Natsu began to rejoice, but was interrupted by noise. A flying mouse hung over the village, which had some kind of bucket in its hands, but when it swayed, a green drop fell from there and as soon as it hit the ground, the latter began to dissolve. Ha 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 Angelica and I will destroy you with our poisonous jelly. Leon's assistant started screaming. I won't let you do this, Lucy shouted. Oh, what can you do? Angelica, lay it, the girl shouted. Happy, help me, the girl asked. That's right. The cat shouted and, picking up Lucy, headed towards the flying mouse. But they didn't have time. Angelique poured out the contents of the bucket, but what happened next surprised Leon's assistant. A barrier appeared over the village, and they were thrown back. Ella lost consciousness, and since the liquid was being poured out at speed, she began to fall towards the sea. Lucy caught the mouse's paw with a whip and then realized that she had done it in vain, because she and Heppy were pulled along by the falling mouse. Pav Naruto. Finally, I got there, Naruto said, standing on the sand. Beach then Naruto decided not to fly, but to walk. Having reached the path that led to the settlement, 
he headed to the village, because, most likely, the violators of the guild's prohibitions were there. Suddenly, the guy saw that some kind of rat was approaching the village, as well as several magicians, and they were clearly not walking with good intentions. Also Naruto felt the energy of Natsu and Lucy in the village, which means those he was looking for were very close. You will get it from me for my unscheduled mission. Naruto said to himself, smiling evilly. He decided to quickly get to the village by flying. When Naruto saw that the rat was about to pour out the contents of the bucket, which would have a very bad effect on the villagers. The guy, in a second, put up a barrier of medium power, and Naruto also used a gravitational wave and knocked out the mouse, noticing that Lucy flew after it, which caught onto the mouse. End of Naruto's Pav. Well, hello Natsu, a voice was heard from the sky, which the pink-haired man immediately recognized. Hello Naruto. Swallowing, he turned and greeted Natsu. Suddenly the pink-haired one was pinned to the ground, and Naruto came down and approached him. The villagers stood in misunderstandings. Who is this guy? Maybe he is an enemy? They thought. Don't worry, I'm not your enemy. Naruto assured the residents. Well, Natsu, what excuses will you have? Naruto asked, turning to the fiery dragon slayer, but before Natsu could even open his mouth, he was interrupted. Strange. Why is the village still intact? Looks like Sherry screwed up, said the guy in the weird green clothes. And what kind of lumps are you? Naruto asked, removing the spell from Natsu. Naruto, they are our enemies. Natsu began to speak, but was interrupted. I see that they are not friends, Naruto said. My name is Wave Yuka, and my partner is Tobi. Salamander, I see another magician has joined you, but you still cannot defeat Nelperator. You are weak, and this pretentious guy seems especially weak. Yuka said and pointed his finger at Naruto. Naruto was wearing black jeans, a black long-sleeved shirt, black sneakers and a black jacket with white fur on the collar and a black scarf that was a gift from Belphegor. There were gloves on his hands, they were also presented by the dragon. He had a ring on the middle fingers of both hands. They were wearing gloves. On his left hand he had a ring into which the sword turned when it was not active, and on his right hand there was a ring with the image of the guild mark. Oh, fool, Naruto is going to smash you, Natsu grabbed his head, because he knew that Naruto would not tolerate being called a weakling, and he didn't give a damn about being called pretentious. Yes. I can't tell from his appearance that he is strong. Yuka repeated again. So I'm weak, right? Zelenka, I'll roll you into the ground now. Naruto got angry, and a strong aura wafted from him, and his eyes also changed, from blue to black, and in each eye there were two crossed braids. Damn. It looks like I blurted out something wrong. Toby, it looks like we need to get away, his strength is 20 times or more than ours combined. Zelenka said and wanted to run away, but it was as if he was chained to earth. Yuka, for some reason I can't move, Toby began to say, but was interrupted by laughter. And you still say that I'm weak, but you yourself can't even move. Ha ha ha, Naruto laughed. What's funny about that? Asked, Zelenka. Yes, so, I just thought that magicians who are not even in the guild tell me that I am a weakling, when they themselves are such. Ha ha ha. Naruto couldn't stop laughing. Maybe you can't tell from us, but we were members of the Scales of the Maiden Serpent Guild and were one of the best A-class magicians. Yuka began to tell. Since you were a member of one of the most famous guilds, why do you think that Class A mages can so easily defeat a high-class mage? Asked Natsu. So, he's an S-class mage, then? Yuka asked, to which Natsu nodded. We're lost. That's all Zelenka said, hanging his head. Natsu, now let's get back to our conversation, Naruto said, turning to the pink-haired one. What are you talking about Naruto? Natsu asked, swallowing. I already said, what excuses will you have? The gray-haired man asked a question. I just wanted to go on such a mission, Natsu answered directly. Oh, you couldn't ask me, I would take you with me, Naruto said. Well. I wanted to prove that I myself can go on such missions," Natsu said hesitantly. And it's all? Asked Naruto. Yes. Natsu answered and received a strong slap on the head. Listen here Natsu. If you suddenly feel the urge to go on a similar mission again, then contact me, understand? Asked Naruto. Yes, 
But aren't you going to punish us? Asked the fiery dragon slayer. No, the master will punish you. Naruto answered and Natsu immediately felt better, because now he won't get any booze. Will you take us back to the guild now? Asked the pink haired one. No, I took this task upon myself and until we complete it, we will not leave, but you will receive a very small percentage of the reward, this is my little revenge, so you will think about it next time, Naruto said. Can I trust you with these weirdos? Naruto asked the villagers. But they are magicians, we cannot hold them back, the elder was indignant. I will put blocking letters on them and they will not be dangerous, Naruto said. Then, of course, the elder answered. Good. Natsu, you and I are going to look for the others, said the gray-haired man. Naruto saw that the rat he hit fell somewhere near the beach. When the guys got there, they saw two girls who were unconscious. Hepi sat next to Lucy and was thinking about something. Seeing Natsu, he cheered up, but when the cat saw Naruto, all the joy immediately flew away from his pug. Natsu, Hepi grab these two and go to the village, and I will go and find Grey. Naruto said, betting on Sharia seal. Yes, Natsu answered. Once the cat and the fire dragon slayer were gone, Naruto sat down and concentrated. Sensing where Grey was, Naruto went to the place where he detected his comrade's energy. Grey guy found it not far from the pyramid and it was not in very good condition. Picking him up in his arms, Naruto headed towards the village. Evening, the next day. Grey woke up in a warm bed, although he remembered that Leon had beaten him yesterday and he passed out. Suddenly, a girl came into his room and said. Oh, you have already woken up, they asked me to tell you that they are waiting for you in the next house, the girl said and left. Grey, thinking about why Natsu and Lucy should wait for him, went to the place indicated by the girl. Walking into the living room, he saw Naruto sitting in a chair. Naruto, I won't let you return me to the guild right now, if you want, you can even beat me, but I won't leave. Grey immediately blurted out, but what Naruto said shocked him a little. I didn't intend to, the master will punish you, but for now, you are carrying out a mission under my command, Naruto answered and, seeing Grey's stunned face, continued. As I see, you have already come to your senses, and that's why we are going to that temple. Okay. Grey answered, but in his heart he was glad that he would not be stopped. Four magicians went to the temple, but they were attacked some sectarians. Natsu, Grey, you go ahead, and Lucy and I will have fun with these darlings. Naruto ordered. When the guys left, Naruto and Lucy were surrounded by people, numbering about a hundred people. Lucy summoned cancer and Naruto pulled out his sword. Let's go. Naruto shouted and rushed into the crowd. He enjoyed fighting with a sword, not magic, against weaker opponents. Fifteen minutes later, all the sectarians ended and they continued on their way. When Lucy and Naruto entered the ancient temple, they felt bursts of energy from Natsu and Grey, as well as two unknown people. Opposite Natsu and Grey stood Leon and some old man. Grey was left to fight with his teacher's former first student, while the pink-haired one and the old man escaped through the hole made by the latter. When Naruto entered the hall where Grey was fighting, he heard. Leon, I have no choice but to seal you so that you do not resurrect Deliora. Grey said, crossing his arms and releasing a large amount of energy, but suddenly everything was interrupted. The guy looked at Naruto, who had interfered with him, and also at the immobilized Leon. Grey, have you decided to die? Asked Naruto. Why did you stop me? Grey asked. If you think that I will let you die, then you were very mistaken. And if so, then I myself will destroy all remaining opponents," Naruto said. No, let him go, I can handle it myself and won't die," Grey answered. If you die, I will bring you back to life and kill you. Naruto told the truth, but Grey thought it was a joke. Don't be afraid, I won't die," Grey said to the retreating guy. I'll believe it, Naruto answered and left. He decided to go to where Natsu was now. But he didn't have time to get there. A roar was heard in the cave where Natsu was and Naruto rushed there. So he woke up. Said Naruto, who was enlightened about Deliora. When he arrived, he saw that the ice where the head was located had cracked and was continuing to break down throughout the rest of the body. A couple of minutes later, Grey and Leon arrived in the cave, and only the lower paws held back the ice on the monster. Deliora's energy increased with every minute. 
Gray took his sealing stance again, but was again stopped by Naruto. Gray, I see you're so eager to die, Naruto said, hitting the guy in the head with his fist. But we won't be able to defeat him, even my teacher Ull, who was almost equal in strength to God's chosen wizard, could not cope with him, Gray said. She may not have made it, but I can defeat him, Naruto said placing his hand on Gray's head. Natsu, will you help me? We proceed according to the same scheme as last time. This demon is roughly equal to Elixi, so we should be able to handle it, said the gray-haired man, preparing for battle. Yes, said Natsu and also began to prepare for battle. Kurama, get him out of here, otherwise it will be very difficult to fight here and give Natsu that fire. Naruto gave instructions to his guardian and began to devour gravity, as he did in the battle with Elixi. Okay, the fox answered, shooting white fire at Natsu and knocking Deliora to the surface. What is he talking about and what demon was he talking about? Lucy asked Grey. I have no idea, Natsu didn't tell me anything either, but I can assume that on a mission for which they received 20 million precious ones, they met a demon who was equal in strength to Deliora. Grey expressed his opinion. At that time, Natsu and Naruto finished their meal, and a powerful power wafted from them. Especially from Naruto, whose magical power has increased fourfold. Well, Natsu, shall we join Kurama? Naruto asked and jumped into the hole made by the fox. Yeah. Natsu shouted and did the same as his older comrade. Gray and the others ran to the surface, through the exit. When Natsu and Naruto appeared on the battlefield, it was quite fun. Deliora tried to hit the fox, and the second, in turn, played with the demon, waiting for his master to start a large-scale battle. Kurama, let's hit him with a triple attack, Naruto shouted. Okay, Naruto's guardian answered and began to concentrate the black ball. Natsu, use some dragon slayer secret, Naruto instructed his friend. The secret of the dragon slayers, the flaming sword of the firebird, Natsu shouted. The secret of the royal dragons, royal punishment, Naruto shouted. All three attacks hit at the same time, and at the same time, a lot of dust rose from the impact. When all the dust cleared, Naruto, Natsu and Kurama saw the destruction they had caused with their own hands, as well as the seriously wounded Deliora. Now a huge crater appeared on the island, and in the middle of this chaos stood Deliora. The monster decided not to remain in debt and also fired, using some kind of spell, the wizards managed to defend themselves, but Natsu's defense fell and he was affected by the residual energy, leaving a decent wound, but under Natsu's surprised gaze, it began to heal and disappear in ghostly fire. When Grey and company ran outside, they saw the attack of the wizards and were very much amazed. They also saw the wounded Deliora. Leon, in shock, said. And I also wanted to defeat this monster, not having half as much power, said Leon. Lucy just remained silent in shock. Natsu, Kurama, I think we need to finish with him, hold him back a little, Naruto said and began to concentrate magical energy. Ghost press, Naruto shouted, and Deliora was knocked to the ground. Divine scaffold, Naruto continued. After that, Deliora twitched a little and went limp. After a couple of seconds, it began to dissolve. When it was all over, Naruto noticed that the sky seemed to have cracked and this led him to a certain thought. Guys, we are returning to the village, Naruto said. When they arrived at the village, the villagers approached them and asked who they were fighting. It was Deliora, a demon created by Zeref, Naruto answered. Everyone here, now we will rid you of the curse, the gray-haired man continued. When everyone gathered, Naruto launched a spell into the sky. Punishing lightning. Naruto cast a spell, and what happened after surprised everyone. The moon split and changed its color from purple to normal. Residents began to turn into demons. They thought they were people, but as it turned out, they were demons originally. This was confirmed by the boatman, who, as it turned out, was the son of the headman. The residents paid for the task and the mages moved back to the guild. Here is your reward, Naruto said, giving Natsu and Grey 20,000 each, and Lucy 10,000 in the key to the Sagittarius constellation. Why so little? Grey asked. Say thank you for the fact that I gave you a reward at all, and not Lyle, said Naruto, and Grey hung his head at such a statement, remembering that they were not officially on a mission. When they arrived at the guild, 
Naruto took the offenders to the master so that he would give out the punishment, and he himself went to Mira. Marachka. Here is my promised gift. Naruto said and handed Mira a box that contained a necklace with a large sapphire in the center. Thank you Narudik. Mira shouted, so that some turned their heads in interest, and kissed Naruto. My pleasure. Naruto answered and watched as Mira went to show Lucy the gift. The frowning master approached Naruto. Naruto, you received a letter from the council, the master said, frowning even more. Master, what punishment did you give these three? Naruto asked, opening the letter and starting red into it. They will have to complete 30 low-paying tasks in two weeks. By the way, what does it say there? Asked the master, answering Naruto's question. This, Naruto stared in amazement at the letter. Readers, what are your guesses about the letter? 